nations, all of whom operate fighter aircraft. It's important to, to hear from them, to understand where they believe the priorities are and where they're going. Opportunities to have dialogues at this level are incredibly important for the United States and every other nation uh, that is represented here. Hearing the uh, industrial insights of what the future of air power is, uh, what technological developments there are and how we need to embrace them to be successful in the future. Uh, and within two days, uh, if you see the, uh, the agenda of this uh, conference, it's uh, quite overwhelming. Yesterday we had 12 presentations and I was surprised uh, about the contents and the uh, thickness uh, of uh, the information we get yesterday. A lot of uh, very good presentations about uh, air combat and uh, modern uh, air warfare. Uh, especially the fourth generation, fifth generation uh, fighter issues, uh, fighter pilot training. offers a great overview of uh, international views on air power and how it should be developed and evolved uh, to meet the further requirements and challenges in the future. This has been a superb couple of days at the International Fighter Conference. As we face a very contested and congested world, we are going to need combat air power in the future. And gathering together like-minded experts in a forum where we can have open, frank discussion and share dialogue and ideas is really very important. We were able to not only visit with many of the 44 countries that are part of the air-to-air -air and air-to-ground portfolio uh, that Raytheon brings to the, uh, to the air forces of the world, uh, we were also able to meet with many of our key customers. Great combination of industry uh, and international partners, particularly this one in London, uh, in that obviously the U.S. Air Force and uh, the U.S. Navy, U.S. Marine Corps attend, but also folks from Africa and Asia and elsewhere. So it's a great crossroads for us to meet lots of our contemporaries uh, and lots of military folks. And of course, we're always interested to talk to.